the Center for Common Practice. Yes, we are now doing a separate recording, everybody. Uh, this is the, the Green Grassroots Emergency Election Protection Coalition. We are joined by uh, Andrea Miller and uh, Ray McClendon. We are going to put down basically a, uh, a, a standalone piece. Where we're going to uh, send around the internet. You may be clicking on the link that we have provided. Uh, we have uh, in early December an upcoming runoff in Georgia that will decide the 51st seat um, in the in the U.S. Senate, whether the Democrats will have 51 or 50. Uh, it is a race between the former football player, Herschel Walker, and the incumbent U.S. Senator, the Reverend uh, uh, Raphael Warnock. Uh, uh, the runoff was um, happened because uh, the um, Warnock won the, won the election, uh, uh, the popular vote count, but did not give, get over 50%. And uh, you are probably, if you like the rest of us, uh, receiving six or seven uh, uh, fundraising emails uh, every hour uh, with various <laughs> entities um, uh, asking you for money. Uh, we are joined by the two people who have really engineered the grassroots campaigning in Georgia and who uh, they are nonpartisan. This is a nonpartisan uh, call. We are 501c3 and they are as well. This is about getting out the vote uh, at the grassroots in Georgia. Uh, it is believed uh, widely that the so-called Georgia miracle of 2021, in which two uh, uh, U.S. senators were elected with grassroots campaigns, uh, was uh, was responsible uh, for uh, the makeup of the U.S. Senate for the last uh, two years. And now we have uh, uh, Ray McClendon and Andrew Miller back with us to explain exactly what we think uh, should be done in a nonpartisan way to get out the vote in Georgia in the upcoming runoff. So we're gonna start with Andrea Miller. Andrea is uh, the founder and uh, CEO of the Center for Common Ground based in Virginia, which does grassroots organizing all over the country. And she will briefly lay out exactly what's gonna happen there and give, give us her contacts. And then we'll be followed by Ray, Ray McClendon, who is the state political director of the National Association for Advancement of Color people of the NAACP in Atlanta. So without further ado, Andrea Miller uh, of the Center for Common Ground, what are you doing in Georgia to get out the vote and how can people help? Oh, well, hey, Harvey, thank you so very, very much. Since we are not on the ground in Georgia, uh, what we do is we provide the IT infrastructure. So we have the phone banks, we build the canvassing materials and all of the things that are not on the ground. That is what we do. We do the texting. We got an early start on phone banking and texting and postcarding. We started sending out postcard addresses on November the 10th. So literally two days after the election. And we have distributed over 790,000 addresses to writers in around the country to write to Georgia. Now, as you said, Harvey, we do all of our work as nonpartisan work. So we work in support of voters. We have been very, very strategic about our targets. We are targeting the voters who early voted for the November election. And we got started on texting last week as well. And what was really amazing was all the people who thanked us because a lot of the information we had about where to early vote and when was there going to be Sunday voting, the only reason we had that was we literally had to call the county election officials and get them to tell us. 
all the counties still have not updated their websites. So we have to ask of everybody that is on this call. Ask number one, we have got phone banks running into Georgia. And because we are giving voters information on how to vote and not selling them candidate, people tend to be a little more willing to listen to our messages. And we provide browser dialing. So that means when people call using our phone banks, they, number one, their phone number is protected. And number two, very, very importantly, we leave messages. So that way, even if information is not posted on the county website or the state website about where early voting is, we actually are gathering that information. It is in our phone banks and we tell voters. So I will give you a link and that is where you can go to sign up for our phone banks. We will have national guided phone banks tomorrow starting at uh, six o'clock. That's for people who have never phone bank using our technology before. If you have phone bank using our technology, you can just go to centerforcommonground.org phone banks, click on a county where you want to make calls and start calling our phone banks run 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day. And I'm going to drop another donate link in where we are paying canvassers in Georgia working with the NAACP. Um, even if you don't intend to give us any money, take a look at our snazzy new donate platform. So thank you all for being here. Thank you all for caring so much about Georgia. Okay, so uh, thank you, Andrea Miller. Uh, today is uh, the 21st. A lot of people are gonna be getting this over the next couple of weeks. So your phone base will be open as of Tuesday, November 22nd. Now, is our, our, our phone banks are open now. Oh, they're open now and they're going to be right. Open they first. opened last week. They're they're open now. We've already made 100,000 calls. We've got 500,000 numbers. So the, the, the big deal is that these are not robo calls. These are actually human beings who are making the phone calls. And, and uh, is, you leave a message. Oh, good. Cool. Now, if, if, is there a, a, a link that you can give verbally for people who are listening to this but may not have the ability to, to yes. download it? What is the yes. link? You can go to center for commonground.org slash phone banks, plural. And then, okay, or just go to center for common ground and you can find probably find phone banks on there. And, and that's the word. Uh, it'll be actions, yeah. And that's yeah. the word for spelled out, not the, the number four. Right. Correct. C-E-N-T-E-R, uh, is there a space between center and four? No, uh, no not on a web link, there isn't. Okay. C-E-N-T-E-R, F-O-R, common, C-O-M-M-O-N, ground, G-R-O-U-N-D dot org, slash phone banks. Plural Excellent. with an S at the end. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that, Andrea Miller. Thank um, you, and, Harvey. And you mentioned that you're working with uh, Ray McClendon. He just happened to have walked into the chat room here. Um, <laughs> uh, happy coincidence, Ray. Uh, you're talking to us from Atlanta. And tell us uh, what you want people to do to help get out the vote. Uh, what is And what is the date of the, uh, of the uh, upcoming runoff? And what can people do? to join in with the Atlanta uh, the uh, and the Georgia NAACP. Well, the actual last day to vote is election day, December 6th. That's the runoff day. But we are strongly encouraging every voter to get out and early vote. Uh, early voting is the way that we built up uh, substantial uh, black and brown uh, folks to get to the polls, uh, progressives to get to the polls, 
uh, dur during the, both the 2020 election and, and the, the uh, 2022 general election. So we're, we're, we're pushing early voting. Now, because of the SB202 voter suppression law, we went from nine weeks for a runoff in 2020 uh, that occurred on January 5th of 2021 to only four weeks. So that compressed time frame means that we have an awful lot more work to do. Because of the holidays, uh, we had been in a situation where it appeared we were not going to have any uh, weekend voting uh, that was mandatory, although some counties were having some Sunday voting. Uh, we, we were a part of a lawsuit uh, that was filed, and we have been able to get Saturday voting uh, for this coming weekend. So on Saturday, November 26, we will have early voting. Uh, so, what, so it's important that we get started with early voting on September the 26th. Uh, we have Sunday voting on the 27th in several county, major metropolitan counties. And then we will have a week of early voting from November 28th through December 2nd. Early voting is critical to progressive turnout in Georgia. Uh, we are going to push that hard. We will be out in mass on both Saturday and Sunday. So the first, first ask, as Andrea has already mentioned, is that we need to get the word out through these phone banks uh, to inform voters of the early voting opportunities uh, that are occurring. A lot of people, they're focused on Thanksgiving, on getting their, their, their families together. They're not focused on, on voting. They don't know when the runoff election is. So we, so we need to get the word out. Nothing beats getting uh, direct conversations in person, however. Uh, so we're going to have canvassers out uh, in, in, in various counties across the state uh, throughout this coming uh, week, and especially on uh, Saturday. We'll be doing um, our traditional parties to the polls on Saturday, souls to the polls on Sunday. Uh, and canvassing throughout. And because it's a holiday, we, we're going to be paying canvassers. So, so the second major ask that we have for you is uh, we, we need in relational organizing, the best conversations are had by people from the local communities. So we wanna pay canvassers who are from these communities. Uh, so the best way, way for you to participate is uh, if you will help support uh, funding canvases, canvases cost about $140 a day when you add in their, their, their cost plus uh, food and, and transportation costs. So, so uh, Andrea has put together using her new classy tool, uh, a way for you to donate. So, so contribute and, and, and cover a canvas or a two or four or five and uh, that will be money well spent because that will be people going door to door wearing uh, NAACP t-shirts uh, out in the community uh, that will be branded in a way that will be encouraging people to vote uh, all, over the this weekend, especially, and then going into next week. So <clears throat> this is all about turnout in the runoff. Uh, runoffs tr uh, traditionally in Georgia are only about 50% of what the general election uh, um, voter participation was. Uh, we were extraordinarily happy with what happened in 2021, in January 2021, where we had all, over 95% of our voters went back to the polls for the runoff. Um, we probably want to want to approach that this time, but we at least want to get up into the 80, 85 percent uh, level. If we do that, uh, then our communities will make the difference and decide who will go uh, to Washington. This is an extraordinarily important uh, race still, even though uh, the Senate has been decided, the difference between 50-50 and 51-49 is extraordinary. Uh, many of you uh, know, know, know the differences there. And so the, the progressive vote and how that comes out 
based upon the the positions of these two candidates uh, will make a vital difference uh, in what policies get is established in, in legislative priorities uh, determined by what we do in, in Georgia. So we thank you for all that you've done. Uh, help us get across the finish line to December 6th. So Ray, uh, if you can give us verbally, this is Ray McClendon from the, the, the political director of the state NAACP of Georgia. We're also with Andrea Miller of the Center for Common Ground. Ray, how do people, if you can verbally tell us how people get a hold of you and to make an impact uh, through the uh, uh, Georgia NAACP, uh, that would be great. Okay, uh, you, you can donate to the Atlanta NAACP.org or uh, you can uh, vote, it's a little bit longer, but it's classy dot org slash give slash four four eight four three three it's very long <laughs> slash well how about it's hashtag you dot donate but but you can but the, the short answer is you can give directly to the Atlanta NAACP dot org. Okay, Atlanta is that one word? Uh, Atlanta yeah, it's all yeah it's all one so word. So we've got two websites that are easy to remember. Atlanta NAACP.org and Center for Common Ground uh, .org. And um, either place will get you to where, where, we, where you need to go. Uh, people are being asked, of course, as usual, to donate uh, to fund canvassers on the ground. That's where the money will go. Uh, and most of the other places that uh, it goes to, uh, say, for media and stuff like that. Uh, and the, the, these two websites, uh, Atlanta NAACP.org and Center for commonground.org will get you uh, where where you need and, to go. And, and and just to plug just to plug here for the Center for Common Ground, uh, they've got the best uh, text and phone banking platforms of of anyone. You know the the NAACP has its own. Uh, we've decided to use the platform from the Center for Common Ground because it's easier. Uh, they have better numbers. Uh, phone numbers, et cetera. So okay. uh, as an example, we, we don't have to print out can canvas um, uh, turf uh, walk sheets and any of that, we, we get that through the technology. So it's, it's just extraordinarily efficient the way that uh, our partnership has been able to work with the Center for Common Ground. We cover a lot more literal ground um, and hit more doors, talk to more people because of the digital platform that that Center for Common Ground and Andrea have created. Uh, but that costs money as well. So we we're grateful that that we had that partnership. But we need to support um, her efforts because some she's got to buy these lists and and pay for these texts and so forth. Uh, uh, so that is a, a, a huge help uh, for us uh, as we go through these last 15 days or 14 days. Uh, yeah, 15 okay. days. So that wraps it. Basically, we've got uh, three ways to participate. If you're in Georgia, uh, get to the Atlanta NAACP and find out how to knock on doors. Um, if you're outside of Georgia, um, uh, uh, get to the Center for Common Ground, uh, get a list of numbers to call and make your donation there. Either way, uh, we know where the money is going. We know where your efforts are going. The, uh, uh, the runoff in Georgia is December 6th. Our particular group, the Green Grassroots Emergency Election Protection Coalition, we will not meet as we usually do on Monday, the Monday after Thanksgiving, because we want people to please take those two hours that we would have spent with our usual wonderful uh, discussion and get on the phone if you're out of state or knock on doors if you're in Georgia. We wanna thank you both, Andrea Miller and uh, Ray McClendon uh, for your participation. We're gonna send the link to this uh, all over the internet. And we're gonna ask you, uh, the, uh, those of you participating in the call today to, to do the same thing. I will send out the link to the list once our great engineer, Steve Caruso, in conjunction with Mike Hirsch will uh, cut this into a, a, a standalone piece.